PFF Bank and Trust promotes education and the magic it brings to youngsters of all ages and is a proud supporter of Curiosity Quest. PFF Bank and Trust, customers first. Hey everyone, I'm Joel Green and welcome to Curiosity Quest, the show that explores what you, the viewer, are curious about. Well today, our quest letter came to us from Ralph in Ohio. And Ralph wrote, Dear Joel, my family and I always take a vacation in an RV. I'm curious, how do they make them and can you show me? Well Ralph, because of you, we have made our way up to Junction City in Oregon where we are at Country Coach and we're going to find out how they make the world's finest motor coaches. So you ready to start today's Curiosity Quest? Then come along, come on. All right, so we're up in beautiful Oregon where I'm here with Matt Howard. How you doing, man? I'm excellent, how you doing? Great, well thanks for having us up here at Country Coach and the air is so much clearer up here. Yeah, we love it here in Oregon. It's, it's nice to have you. Oh, that's, well, thanks for having us. Now, so tell us, before we get started, what is the difference between an RV and a motor coach? What is the difference between an RV and a motor coach? I don't even know what a motor coach is. An RV's bigger? I didn't know there was a difference. Uh, RV comes with a comes with a driver thing, and then motorhome doesn't come with it. Oh, one's bigger. What is the difference between an RV and a motor coach? Well, a motor coach is an RV. Uh, usually it's just a larger RV, bigger engine. It's like a house on wheels. A house on wheels, mm -hmm. huh? All right, we have a refrigerator, your, your bed. Yeah, a couple of sofas, gigantic televisions, you bet, maybe a little PlayStation in there. It's all good. It's all good, huh? Yeah. Now, we're going to be able to see how you make them from start to finish? Yeah, we'll start with our, with our frame, our chassis, you know, with the whole foundation for the coach, and we'll take it all the way to a finished motorhome that we'll look at at the end. And then, of course, afterwards, we get to drive away in one? Well, I might take you down the road a stretch. We could do that, maybe. Okay. But, uh, but it might have to come back. <laughs> it's got an owner waiting for it. Wait, wait, wait. Just, just go ahead and just look at the camera and just say, you get to drive away in one. Go ahead. Go ahead. You might get to drive away. I got in... the mic. Take out the... <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk to my boss. I got to talk. <laughs> wait, wait, you are the boss today. Uh, okay, all right. all right, all right. Hey, my boss, he says I'm the boss, so he might have to take one away. <laughs> all right, so we're going to see it start to finish. Ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Where do we go? We'll just go right this way. All right, cool. What is a chassis? A car, maybe? A truck? It makes the wheels move, I think, on the motor coach. A car? I said, no, Matt, what's a chassis? Well, a chassis is the thing that gives a motorhome all its strength. The chassis here is made out entirely of steel. Every single strength component, every part is made out of steel, and they're all welded together to create a big unified cage that holds the whole motorhome together and gives it also its shape. So this, this right, this is the chassis. This is the chassis. We make it all here at Country Coach. We start with these sticks of steel and we design it and we put it all together to fit every single motor coach perfectly. Wow, now I, this, this is huge. Yeah, yeah, this, so, is a, this is 45 feet long. So that's a good length wow. right there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, and the motor, the motor home is about just under 13 feet tall once it's done. And once it sits it's done. on top of it. You bet, it sits on top of it, comes comes down over the top of it as well. And the walls that are going to sit on this, that are going to go up, are also made of steel. Wow. Lots of steel in the country coach. It's for safety, it's for strength. Okay, now I see all these batteries here. What is well, this? Well, it, this is to run a lot of your house systems. you got a refrigerator. Just like your house, you got an air conditioner. Uh -huh. Just like oh, you got your house in a hot day. You know, you got all those different elements. You microwave oven, so you can make yourself a meal. Those things are powered by your batteries. And when these run down, you got what's called a generator, which is a whole other engine in the coach to resupply these with power when they run low. Yeah, that's funny because you think about in your car. When you guys go home and look in your parents' car. There, there's one battery. Right. And in here, how many do you have? Oh, well, in this one, we've got eight, and these are actually a little bit more heavy duty. We've got six here and a couple more. Actually, we got ten. We got ten of them. We got ten. Uh, wow. just, and, and these are actually a little more heavy duty, even one of them. 
than what you find in your car. You bet. Now, is it okay for me to get in? Have it. Yeah, okay, you bet. So, is this where you would store? Stuff? Yeah, that's a storage bay, and it goes all the way through the other side of the motorhome. Oh, really? So if you got something that's really long, you can shove it through there. You can put a whole bike stack of bicycles in there. Okay, I'm on the other side of the motorhome. There now. you go. Right, now, what are all these? These uh, well, you got all kinds of electrical cables. You got hydraulic hoses. Uh, Hoses and cables, they all go down the middle, and then they get covered up by the floor. Wow. So the floor is going to come down right on top of those. And what's that back there? That's the engine. Oh, That's the... Want to take a look at it? Yeah, you betcha. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. Did you know that RV vacations cost up to three quarters less than traditional vacations? This is an engine wow. that is made to power one of those 18 wheelers going down the freeway. That's wow. what this engine's designed for and we kind of repurpose it, amp up the power even more, and then put it in our country coaches. Oh my goodness, that thing is huge. And I tell you a great thing about these right now is the air coming out of this is cleaner than the air in Los Angeles. These, these diesels are not those school bus diesels that make those clouds of smoke when you're, yeah. when you're, you know, you're behind them and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. it's not that coat, that engine anymore. It's a clean engine. Now, is this the front of the coach? No, nope, it's the back. Oh. Like, we call them diesel pushers because they push the coach down the road. Oh, okay. Much more efficient. So this is the back, where's the back door? The back door would be right, right here. Oh, there's the back, there's the back. <laughs> you gotta work on the engine, you gotta change your belt. Yeah, you betcha. All right, you gotta look at it and go look at my big engine. So now, can I can I uh, get all the way to the front, walk on it at all? If you want to, if you want. it's your ankle to twist. All right, let's see here. You're not supposed to say it, it's supposed to be positive. Right <laughs> so I gotta make my way to the chair, right? Yeah, we, we replaced that chair with a better chair later on. Oh, okay, so I'm walking across. See, I am pretend that I'm in the kitchen. No, where would I You'd be? Right in now? the bedroom right I'm now. I'm in the bedroom yeah, right now. You just got out of bed, okay? And you're Woo! Walking, that's right, you're walking forward. Maybe you're going to, you know, brush your teeth right oh, about here. Brush my teeth. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Get, get out of here. I'll squirt you in the water that's not on. Go for maybe you want a snack, maybe your refrigerator is right oh, around here. Okay. Yeah, you get a refrigerator. Okay, you can sit down, maybe eat over there. I'm not gonna sit down. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got your sofas, you got your oh, you the got sofas. sofas, recliners, television. This imaginary game is kind of unique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> television. Well, we'll make it real soon enough. Okay, and then now finally I'm coming to the front of it. That's right. I can't believe you let me walk across that whole thing. And then huh? I just wanted to see if you make it. <laughs> And I'm in the chair, and you said it's going to be replaced. You betcha. And we replaced, actually, the, all the wheels that are on this right now, everything gets replaced once it's finished. This is the smallest steering wheel I've ever seen <laughs> on the <laughs> biggest thing I've ever seen. That is cool. Well, it's all power steering, so it doesn't take a lot of power to turn that. All right, so we're off to the next step, right? That's right. That's right. And how long does it take to build a motor coach? A week? Two weeks. Probably about five or six days. Seven months. A month? So Matt, how long does it take to make a motor coach? From beginning to end, about eight weeks, give or take. If a customer wants some really special stuff done, maybe even a little longer. Eight weeks? Yeah, well, you, you start with the steel, and there's so many steps in between. Okay, speaking of steps in between, what's this next to us? Well, right now we're standing next to a wall. This, this wall is just getting ready to put together, and just like a house, it's got layers. You know, it's got the sticks that make it up. <laughs> We're out of steel. Uh -huh. You put the insulation in the middle. Wait, wait. It, you put styrofoam in the walls? Uh, it's kind of fancy styrofoam. Oh, it's okay. A, it's a polystyrene, <laughs> and it, the water won't soak up in it or anything. It's special for the motor home. But it's nice and lightweight. This is pretty brittle. Ooh, you, you can broke break it. it, right? Uh, yeah. But after it goes through our process, you can't break out at all. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. One out of every 12 vehicle-owning households in the U.S. owns an RV. So now we've seen how the walls go together, but what I want to talk about is the why of Why we put them in that vacuum and suck all the air out of it and switch it all together. Because this foam, this is that poly polystyrene, that big word, right. it's not that strong, right? You can go ahead and step on that see what happens. Go, go ahead, go ahead, see? Yeah, yeah. Oh. look at that. Oh. So what you can do is you can take a real thin layer of something Put it on this side, uh -huh. you put it on that side, and just glue them together. And I'm not talking about steel. I'm not talking about something real strong, but it's the glue, holds it all together, and you make that piece right there, and you go ahead and step on that and see what happens. That was fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was really there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think. Uh, right here? And it's right here. So you just go ahead and walk up that. <laughs> all it's got on this is a thin layer of really fragile wood <laughs> and some glue. All right. Look at that. It's a diving board. That's, we just made 
diving board. <laughs> so it's just one of the reasons we go to all that trouble to yeah. make sure it's a strong motor coach. That's, that's, wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done playing around. That's pretty, that's really cool. And all we have on here, all you got on this is you got two layers of wood that are really thin and glue in between. Wow. And what types of things can you find on a motor coach? Like couches and stuff, maybe? Room? A wheel, a seat. Hmm. And a motor? A shower, a bed, and um, so a rack to hang your clothes, and just pretty much all kinds of things. Keys? Matt, what types of things are in a motorhome? Well, everything you'd find in a house, pretty much. On the countertops, the cabinetry, you know, all the furniture, it all goes into it. This right here is, is actually what we turn into your kitchen and your bathroom countertop. It comes in these raw sheets, and we make sure it finishes into a nice, glossy surface with rounded corners. And, is this marble? Uh, it actually looks like marble, but it's not. It's all kinds of chemicals that you put together. <laughs> it's lighter than marble. It's more durable than marble, easier to repair, mm -hmm. but you get that look. And it really looks luxurious. We polish it up and make it nice. So you're gonna put a sink in here? And sure, you're... sure. So, and we can actually shape this, and sand it, and, and make this into a sink if we wanted to. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it's extremely uh, pliable. You can do all kinds of neat things with it. So is this stuff we bend just like we did over at the wall part? Are you gonna break it, break it with your head, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't recommend remind it. Me of that, huh? I wouldn't recommend it. No, okay. All right, so we'll let we'll let somebody else bend yeah, it. Yeah, we'll let our we got some experts that have done had tens, twenty years of experience in how to shape this and make it beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna keep a tab on this whole time thing. Mm -hmm. How long will it take you to make all of the stuff that goes into the motorhome? Oh well, a lot of times we start doing that when we, we're actually making the chassis and we're making the walls. At the same time, they're in different buildings making those other pieces. Really, the interior motor, all those different pieces. Three weeks, maybe. Okay. Maybe three weeks. So one day for the walls, three yeah. weeks for the inside. Yeah, a day for the walls, a couple days for the roof, a day for the for the floor. I'm trying to cut time yeah, out of the okay. process. Here. You got about a week and a half for the chassis itself. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and see how this is all made. Then, yeah. Inside. You yeah, it's just in here. Am I gonna get to cut something, and break something? Well, I don't know. I'm worried you might cut yourself. You gotta be careful. A lot of training involved here. They don't all let right. me near the tools. I'm not sure if they'll let you near them. Oh, they'll let me. All right. Yeah, I'll let <laughs> Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. 92% of parents who own RVs believe that RVs are the best way to travel with a family. somebody with a map and a print and tells them what to do with all that. But that stuff's powering your lights, your electronics, all that kind of stuff. Here's a fresh water hose, here's a hot water hose. All of it goes somewhere. All of it, it just has yet to be, to be taken to where it needs to go. What a mess, somebody's gotta go through oh, all this? Oh yeah, we got all kinds of people that know exactly what that pile of wires means and so where to take it. So and don't touch it. Uh, well, I don't touch it because <laughs> they know better than I do. Oh. But this coat, this actually already has a floor on. Yeah. As you see, that chassis came in the door, the one we saw how we built that, and we put the floor right on top of it. It's just a regular wooden floor right now. No, it's got steel in it. Oh. It's, it was made in the same place as our walls were made, and they, they laminated it together, put the glue in between. Oh, yeah. I see, I feel some styrofoam in there, too. Steel all through it. You got the, the styrene insulation. Special. Special. Oh, yeah. Oh. And so what we do next is we put all our furniture in it before we put the walls on, because that's way easier to take everything in the front door later. So we take all those big cabinet pieces and stuff and we go ahead and attach those to the floor uh -huh. put any carpet tile whatever's going on the floor do all that and then we put the walls on like they're doing right over here oh so we got countertops up here right.